This week, we're talking to the man behind Solo's music, John Powell. And Pablo Hidalgo is taking us on a top secret tour of Dryden's study to look at all of his artifacts up close. This is the Star Wars Show from the Lucasfilm headquarters in San... Ugh. Ugh, I keep getting hair in my mouth. How do you eat with this? Oh, eating's not the problem, it's sneezing. <laughs> Battlefront 2 dropped a brand new trailer and a slew of information about their upcoming Han Solo season, which is coming to the game on June 12th. The new content is Receive and escape with a critical payload while fending off enemy forces. And if you're in Los Angeles during EA Play later this week, you can play Extraction on Kessel at the Fan Fest from June 9th through 11th. For more details, including the full trailer, check out this link. Yesterday, tickets for the five-day Star Wars Celebration Star Wars Celebration takes place in Chicago on Thursday, April 11th through Monday, April 15th, 2019. Less than a year to go, folks. Time to start planning. So excited. And for more breaking news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. Pinewood Studios, where they've created this amazing 360-degree set. What I want to show you is the kind of cool stuff you'll find in Dryden's office. The thing you recognize about Dryden Voss is that he likes to show off his collection, including Zim's death head. Now, that's something that's on the cover of Han Solo and the Lost Legacy. Joining me today is Daniel Nussbaumer, assistant art director. This movie has a wide variety of looks and feels. Here, this is quite the elegant place. What's your approach to elegant? Yeah, you know, upon first and impression, you may not think that you're actually in a spaceship. So what kind of design consideration is there? We have little tech details added, so it still feels as if there's paneling, there's something going on behind it that wouldn't be there. Years. And lastly, we have a collection of ancient technology, including quite literally the capper on this collection, what appears to be a Sith holocron. The fact that Dryden has a Sith one should settle any doubts as to the nature of his character. really taken notice of one of your scores, it was probably Born Identity. It's one of those things you always try and do music that works as well as it can for a film. And sometimes you just get these lucky moments when, in this particular case, I was trying to change the way I sounded, studying all his sketches from the original films. And it's extraordinary. I mean, it's compositional rigor at its highest level. You and John have, have two very different sounds, two very different styles. This is a Star Wars movie that very much has its own sort of identity. John obviously wrote the Han theme. The score is you. How does something like that. That was the case. I would have been too nervous to do it. Knowing that he was going to be on, I realized that <laughs> apart from all the selfish reasons to do it and to meet him, get to sort of see his process and learn from it, I felt much more secure that I would basically be able to use him to bring... New to this? What did you want to keep that was classic to this? This is the really hard thing about doing this film. This is what gave me sleepless nights. I love the way that Ron works because he's so inclusive and he really wanted me to think about the film and not just the music. But in working with John, the things that I guess I'm known for. But the problem on this one was not freezing because of the wish to never change anything. As soon as we try and change things we love, we have to ask the question is, why are we changing it? We love this. Why are we changing it? This is not change for change's sake. This is a allowed me to relax and do more of that. It does cross all of the transitional journeys that I've gone through as a composer in my life. Everything I've ever heard in my life, of which a lot was Star Wars, is in there. So some of it's going to come out as Star Wars, I hope. What Star Wars story was? Mine is a bit of dialogue in a bar. That's all I'm saying. That's yeah. all I'm saying. You're going to influence the answers, dude. Let us know your favorites using the hashtag solo Easter eggs, and we'll feature our favorites here next week. And as always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter. Fa I'm keeping mine a secret. You like pop culture? Ron Howard? <laughs> you got a little. Let's do pilot Lando's Millennium Falcon.